Hello YouTube and welcome to another episode of Let's Learn the Mods. Today we're going to be covering um, the factories from Mechanism as well as um, uh, the Metallurgic Infuser. Okay, so to get started, um, the Metallurgic Infuser is used to combine um, two different items um, into kind of like a different substance. Um, in this case we're combining diamond dust. As you can see here we have a buffer of diamond right here and obsidian dust. and um, this is making re refined obsidian, um, which is used in various things from mechanism. Over here, we're making enriched iron. Um, all we add is coal over to here, iron ingots here, and this will create enriched iron. Furthermore, we take the enriched iron with more coal and, com um, and combine them, and this will create steel dust. Over here, we have um, redstone in the buffer with iron, which is making rich alloys, which is used to make um, your basic circuits for um, for mechanism. All right, moving on, we have our um, we have uh, some different types of factories. Um, in this case, we have a basic factory. Or we have our um, initial machine. We then take our basic factory our advanced factory and our elite factory. Uh, elite factories are the best factories you can get. As you can see here we can use um, do one process over here and whatnot. Over here we can take three processes at one time. Here we can take five and over here we can take a total of seven. Seven processes. That's quite a bit of processes and um, It'll take the equivalent energy of um, as if it was processing one. So if you're processing seven things, it'll take the energy of processing seven things all at once. Um, and over here, we kind of have a little uh, thing set up similar to thermal expansion. You can toggle the input over here if it can receive input or not right here. You can toggle if it auto ejects over here if it'll eject to its adjacent inventory. Over here, we have it set up so that dark blue um, ejects to, um, to the right, um, similar to thermal expansion. And then over here, we designate that um, the input for dark blue is over here. Um, that's not important. We're not actually inputting this into here. Um, as you can see, um, dark blue is the result. Um, so after we enrich the iron ore, it'll end up in the dark blue slot. So we're essentially saying, after the iron's enriched, please drop it into here. And this basic factory is set up so that dark red is its input and then over here we have dark put as its output dark blue as its output all right uh, and that'll output that into the chest automatically so that's your basic configuration so if you wanted to input power here which is the green slot you would say hey if you want to insert it at the top you would say um accept green at the top and you can auto input like energy from there or, and whatnot, or you can actually eject dark blue onto the top if you so wish. All right, so moving on, uh, we have our basic, um, we have uh, each factory that uh, that's in the game over here. Here we have our smelting, which as you guessed is just for smelting items. We have our enrichment chamber, which is essentially our macerator. As you can see, we can um, macerate all this stuff up and whatnot. Um, but there's actually a better thing than a macerator in this. We have our crusher, which um, doesn't work the same as a macerator. It's, uh, well, it is and it doesn't. Um, it's used to mainly turn ingots into dust as well as um, stone to cobblestone and whatnot. Um, and you can also make biofuel here um, by crushing oak saplings and um, such. Um, that's basically what it's used for. It's not used to macerate ores by any means. So, um, yeah. All right, so moving on down here, we have our compressing factory. Uh, this is used to combine alloys like glowstone and um, osmium. So this will um, create glowstone ingots and um, obsidian ingots. Also, another thing to note is, um, uh, I did forget to mention this, the metallurgic infuser is also your alloy smelter. So if you wanted to make bronze, you would need tin, tin dust, right there and then we're going to take copper ingots uh, you need dust for this uh, for the left side input so keep that in mind when you're doing this so over here as you can see it's filling up with tin but um you can use the you use the ingots over here um, 
and use the dust over here. You can also swap that around. You can do copper dust on the left and um, tin on the right. But um, this has to be ingot, this has to be dust. See? All right, and if we go down here, we can see all the stuff like um, you can make moss stone with biofuel and cobblestone and such. All right, so going back to this, um, we covered the compressor uh, combiner. What this does is it um, basically combines lead dust with cobblestone. You can actually get ores from it again um, if you want to. Uh, you don't have to, obviously, but um, if you really need an ore for some reason, you can combine them back into that. See? All the ores. And you can also make obsidian from obsidian dust. All right. And here's our late factory of it. And then we have the purification chamber. This is really neat. Um, you use flint and then the ore. And that'll um, essentially create all your um, uh, tripled ores. So this is how you triple your ore. You just need to provide flint plus the ore. And um, you get these. So yeah, that's um, basically all I wanted to cover um, for this. Um, so I hope this was informative, and I'll see you all later.